So how long will it take for my vision to come back after retinal reattachment surgery? The commonest procedure is to carry out a vitrectomy where the vitreous gel is removed from inside the eye and it's temporarily re replaced with a gas bubble. And this holds the retina into position while the freezing treatment or the laser treatment which is using being used to spot weld the retina back into position takes effect. While the gas bubble is in position the vision will be blurred but as that absorbs and that can vary from two to four weeks and with some longer acting gases maybe even three months uh, the vision will start to improve and uh, really dependent on whether the macula or the central part of the retina was involved. What also patients have to do when there is a gas bubble in the eye is to position their head in a particular orientation. This is so that you can manipulate the gas bubble to cover the hole in the retina. So very often they have to keep their heads pointing downwards and maybe uh, one cheek uh, or the other to pointing towards the ground just so that you can move the gas bubble around. Uh, during that period clearly the vision is going to be blurred. The longer term prognosis for vision uh, really depends on whether the macula has been detached or not. If it hasn't, then there's an extremely good chance of normal vision being restored and I would say this can be within two to four weeks. If the macula has detached, then the vision can be blurred long term. But we really don't know until uh, up to a year post-operatively the, what the final outcome is going to be. The key thing is, if you have symptoms, of retinal detachment that you need to be seen as a matter of urgency.